Now you see here, there is the chart, which is important. And you can see this one, there is the differences between uh, primary data and secondary data. Whenever we are talking about the meaning of the primary data, so meaning these are rather, you can say, the categories or rather the factors by which the differences uh, were, were made. The first one meaning data collected by the researcher himself are primary and secondary data collected by other persons. Originality, this is the original or unique one information and secondary data is not original or not unique information as because it is a consolidated information. It is not unique in that sense, it is a compiled one, okay, compiled and filtered information. Adjustment, do not need adjustment, it is focused. Adjustment means if your target is fixed, if your population is fixed, if your sample size is okay, then there is no need for any kind of adjustment at the time of collecting the data. But here it will need the adjustment to suit actual aim. As because you are getting a lot of data in the condensed form, what amount of data is required for your activity or your statistics, you have to think of that one, you have to find out that one and then you just have to extract that portion from the secondary data. And this type of data is the qualitative data, primary data, it can be quantitative also but why they are saying qualitative because you can input the values therein whenever you are going to the field and whenever you are collecting the data you are not just seeing that one, the data but many, many times you are extracting the data by giving your inputs. So what you say about this one? How many cows you are having right now? Why are you thinking that one? Um, more cows are not giving you more milks. So this is what some kind of quality parameters you can embed in primary data. But in secondary data, it's because these are just the data, just some new numbers. So you cannot do any such kind of qualitative method of this one. Methods, see the observation method, experiments, interview, primary, what we are talking about. And secondary, that is a desk research method. Most of the cases what we do, uh, you just say, you just take the bulky books, and browse the pages, take note of it. Okay. And then we are getting that one, that is search online. Reliability, more reliable and that's why you will see that one, most of the research was articles which are rather written on the basis of primary data is always getting more preferences than that of secondary data. Because secondary data collected by some other people and there is no such check and balance for that one. But, but here I must say that one, if the data is coming from the government side, if the data is coming from some authoritative sites which are already recognized data sources, then we can believe that data. There is no point of saying that one, we do not believe it, all those data. But you know, in statistics, it is always being stated that one, there are three lies in the world. One is lie, another one is the damn lie, and third lie is the statistics. And that is what, although this is rather just a kind of joke or rather just play with the words, but this thing many times it happens happens means uh, people use statistics just to bypass the truth if i give you the figures it may seem to you these are very fine but in reality this might might not be so as for example right now what the government is doing like that one that is the vaccination program and all the things so you are getting the statistics but you do not know what is rather happening in reality so this is the problem with this one. Then time reliability. So time consumed, and in case of primary data, it is more time consuming. But in secondary data, as you are just copy, you have to copy and record. Those are less time consuming. Need of investigator, need team of trained investigator, or you can be there also. But you see that one, the very latest uh, example I can give you. The IPAC team of Prashant Kishore. You need team of trained investigators. And here you do not need the team of investigators. Cost effectiveness, primary data collection is costly, 500 crores. 
secondary data collection is economical. Collected when secondary data is inadequate, when you, when you have collect, whenever you think that one secondary data is not giving you the real result, you have to go for the secondary data and secondary data before primary data is collected. You are seeing that one, what is there? Capability, more capable to solve a problem and this is less suitability, more suitable to achieve objective. Achieve objective, so your purpose, you are doing that one some for the purpose, with the purpose, how many people lost job during this COVID second phase attack, okay, or second wave attack. So you can do this one. So you, you, you can you can go for that one. So more objectivity is there. And these data secondary may be suitable, not may be suitable bias. Possibility of bias exists in case of primary data. And secondary data in that case, it is somehow safe from biases because researchers by data collectors bias is a very big, big problem in statistics. Because you see, whenever you are getting the data, secondary data, so as because this data is rather um, collected by um, some other people who do not have any kind of relationship with the data. So whatever the data is given on that document, you are just collecting that one. But in case of primary data, there can be that, that is you are going to um, going, going to search for that one, those who are not ready for, who are not ready for, um, or who, who has already, who, who the people have lost their jobs during this Corona period. And you are biased that one. I won't go to those fellows. They are very mean to me. And always they actually say something against my subject. So I don't want to study them. So such type of bias can be there. Collected by researcher or resident and here. Precaution to use. There is no such necessary, necessary necessity for precaution. And here it is quite necessary you have to take the precaution means whether your secondary data is relevant for you or not. I'm afraid to say you, we are having a lot of power crisis from the morning and uh, morning at nine we got the power was restored and in the, in the, in the noon also I was thinking that one whether I could take your classes or not because the power was not there from 12.15 to 3.13 and then we got the power and suddenly right now the power has gone and there is no such power. I am running with my um, this one that is the backup. I do not know how long I can do this one. But whenever it will be extreme, I may have to quit. Okay. So, next one, the sources of data collection. So now you see here, the primary sources, whenever we are talking about primary sources, what we are having, the observation method, interview method, questionnaire method, schedules, and you have the other methods also all these things, the primary sources, that is warranty cards, distributor audit, country audit. These are the different tools from which you can get the information. And secondary data source, the published and published, and here questionnaire schedules or like that, and secondary sources, as I told you that one, books, websites, newspaper, magazines, journals, government reports, publications, research reports, everything. So, okay, I'm fortunate enough that power is restored. So, this is what are the different sources of data. Now, first one regarding C, this one, the primary source, the first element of primary source is the observation method. So, while we'll be collecting data, 
as the primary mode in primary mode or in real time mode we can collect the data through observation now what is that observation is nothing sonali is waiting observation is nothing this is the study relating to behavioral signs that is the behavior of the individual and information is sought by the way of uh, researchers own direct observation and respondent is not asked and communicated see in observation this is never been told to the respondent you are being observed example that is a brand of wrist watch okay willingness to respond willingness of respondent to respond is not necessary less demanding of active cooperation so now see this is what you have to do this one or rather observation it is having some bit of criteria what are the criteria this is a study relating to behavioral science now see here i am telling you one very truth uh, suppose you are observing someone okay and you are observing someone by using your mobile phone you are observing someone in park you are observing someone in cinema hall you are observing someone in uh, the shops but if this observation is centered to a single person only a single person and if you do observe like that way this is a punishable offense okay this is one punishable offense that is without informing him or her if you observe them and take record of their observation this is one cognizable offense you can't do this one. so observation method is something related something different different in what sense you know that one that is i have i know uh, I, I i i can say that one most probably you people have seen uh, this one that is the big boss in television you know that big boss or another program is the to hasi to fasi so if you see this one these are the observation method here direct investigators observation is there in the library if a librarian wants to observe whether his subordinates are working or not he can see this one through a camera or rather cctvs sorry cctvs posted each and every room and it is better it will be much more better if he travels to goes to each and every uh, room or every person talk to them and see them whether they are actually on their um, table or not what they are doing as by browsing just by um, uh, making some kind of uh, that is hi and hello you can see that one how many documents he processes so this is what is a kind of observation map method and respondent is not asked and communicated and here this is the important thing right now the law is rather something different law is saying something different and that's for why you know whenever you are installing cctv whether you are installing that one in your home or in your uh, shop or anywhere you have to say that one at the very front you have to announce that one at the very front or at the entrance that is you have inform your uh, respondents that is yes you are being observed because this is going against the very privacy of the individual so this is one thing but in this case willingness of the respondent is not required necessary suppose you are observing and whether he is willing or not willing that is not important you are seeing that one whether he is working or not suppose someone is always having a tendency to go to the library and once he is in within the library he takes a glass of water and then makes some 
gossip with his colleagues and then takes a nap. So at 12.30 he wakes up and have some tap tea and then he goes out because she needs some kind, he needs some bit of fresh air. So after that he used to come and do one or two processing like acquisition, accessioning or like that and then he simply says that one. So today I did a lot of things and no more from me. And that is what, this is the willingness or unwillingness. But you can observe and after that one you can observe whether he is responding or not. It is not the botheration of the library manager or the librarian. You are recording. And after, if the situation is going on for a long time, you just issue an order that is you are being shifted from this room to the stack where no one can take rest. So this is the only thing you can do. And less demanding cooperative, active cooperation, you are not uh, so in observation. See, observation process is obviously there everywhere. People do observe you. Teachers observe students. Teachers, teacher observe students, students observe teachers too. So observation is there. But this observation is rather involuntary. No one is saying something. But if the observation is rather you are making that one mandatory or voluntary, so you have to inform that one that is yes, I am rather being observing you because I want to know what you. So in that case, people will get serious and you will not get the real result. This is the first task of primary data collection. So you can collect your data by observation method. Okay. Now, limitation. Observation is expensive. Expensive in that case. If you go to a particular community or if you want to see how they are, their information behavior is, so you have to stay there for a long time. And obviously this is expensive, limited data. The more restricted number of your sample will be, the data will also be very simple. And at the same time, as because there is no cooperation is sought, so real data might be like that from many of them are not responding anything and you are not getting the data from them also. So you are just getting the null or zero data from them. It's okay. So this is another thing, one is not there. Okay. Now, cannot observe what is going on in mind. Okay. In interview, you can, you can get this one. But in observation, you cannot observe what is going on in mind. But I do not know whether you will agree or not. People say, or wise men, wise people say that one, that is the face is the mirror of mind. And if you can observe the face, so you can at least get some bit of thing what is going on mind. But if the people are rather deceptive people, if they are very, very cunning one, then you can't do this. Okay. And some people are rarely accessible. You can't observe them also. As for example, suppose you want to observe the Gram Pradhans or videos. So you are observing a particular place and government machineries and you are seeing that one video is not being seen because he is having lot of activities each and every time he is moving here and there. So these are the problems of observations. And in observation, you must keep in mind what should be observed. Important thing, that is your goal. In our case, that is whether our librarians or rather my, my subordinates are doing the very job assigned to them or not. This is I am going to observe. How these observations should be made and recorded. How? How to ensure accuracy. Three things. 
and in structured versus unstructured now see careful definition of units to be observed we were writing that one style of recording standardized conditions for observation structured means descriptive unstructured exploratory and you are writing exploratory means you are just seeing that one what one individual can do you cannot predict and this is the unstructured one but structured is that one that is you are writing that thing that is presence in the library that is working hours this time how many times work so this is rather the structured one and unstructured is rather monitoring him each and every time okay next is now see another observation that is participant and non participant and here you see the researcher that is researcher or rather you are being the member of the group and you are that is you are being also the participant this is a participant observation you are observing your group as a participant that is going to islam and living their life you will see that one most of the english researchers or rather the outside researchers or indian ngos they used to do such type of research a participant research observation because you see one thing is very important as because your culture the way you nurture the way you develop the way you have grown up your culture your etiquette your dress code your sense of belonging your way of articulation all these things are rather the prime barrier of you to communicate with a particular group which are inferior inferior in a uh, inferior is a very bad term to say which is rather different than that of the way you already been uh, shaped so that's for why at the first time whenever you were going to observe any group of people or rather a sample you will always see that one you will not be accepted with rather in a whole hearted way or you are not you will not get the very warm welcome it's no way it is possible so then what you have to do you just have to be a member there you have to take and you know that on the politicians they whenever they usually mm, um, submits their uh, see the nominations suppose they belong to a particular place but they are submitting nomination for a different constituency the first thing they usually do they take a room or house there as rent and start staying there do you know why this is because they are rather trying to include him as a participant for the observation that is why why that is why the people might have that issue he is not actually the person here but why he is here and why should we give him the vote and then he wants to prove that one that is no i am your people i am yours man might be i am staying here but i have no problem in staying with, with you and that is what is the participant observation non participant is rather you are not the part of that one so you are not joining with them but you are just one passive observer you are just observing each and every time you are suppose in the morning you are like visiting them and then uh, the noon time noon you are going there and that afternoon also you are visiting them so this is what is the uh, participant observation and non participant observation and then controlled observation and uncontrolled so observation in natural setting natural setting means you are going to the station railway stations and you are seeing that one whether the station dweller kids who are living in the stations whether in the morning they are having they are rather reading or not whether they are opening any book or not so this is what the uncontrolled natural and observation in predefined uh, environment you are bringing someone into some place and ask them uh, please draw something like that one the competition for open drawing 
So this is what the control one. Okay. And now interview, but before that, I need to know that one whether what I stated is clear to you or not. If not, say no. If yes, say why. Babu Kishore Babu Kishore Yes sir Buste para galo Yes sir Buje Chandana Yes sir Buje Pahel Yes sir Buje लिखे दी ও আচ্ছা আচ্ছা ঠিক আছে বুঝলাম ঠিক আছে সুইটি তুই কিন্তু বহু দিন ধরে কোন সারা শব্দ করছিস না বুঝেছিস কি বুঝিস নি বুঝে গেলি মামি তালামা গতিত নীলেশ রয় तोरा परीक्षाटारम कागजे चले बुझी खराब लगे बाबा खराब लेगे now okay then so next one so now the second portion 
that is the entire view. So the first portion was the observation, second portion that is the entire view. Now see, entire view is the most crucial one and you can say that one the most authentic primary data collection method. This is the most important one because in observation also some passive thing is there that is controversy is there and at the same time the response you see most problem is that the main, most of the important thing is that um, what one is showing whether he is really like that or not you cannot infer from observation so it is very time consuming in that sense now in case of interview now you see so this is the oral verbal stimuli and reply in terms of oral verbal responses so this is what oral verbal stimuli we are rather using that one that is so i am talking with you you are talking with me so the personal interview so we are having the different types of interviews personal interview group interview group discussion so different types of interviews are there so first one is the personal interview and here at least so two persons should be there so personal interviewer and interview in case of group interview this can be two more than two now face to face contact so what are the personal interviews two person so at least two person interview interview you, you can have face to face contact then direct or indirect interview that is what Direct means you are talking with him directly or indirect interview by using telephones or other thing, indirect one. Structured interview or unstructured interview. This one I will tell you later. Predetermined questions, standardization technique of recording, with investigation, documentary, exit interview, etc. Now, personal interview in data collection gives you the most authentic i'm telling you authentic if the interviewer and interview develop a very good bonding so then only you can get that or the real result and this interview is considered as the finest data collection method because in this method what you can do you can clearly see that is what the interviewer interviewee is giving to you, saying to you, how much of truth is embedded therein. If you are a serious researcher, you can understand that one. Face to face contact is also there. So you can say to him directly face to face contact and you are asking about the library. As for example, suppose in your cataloging section, someone is not doing the assigned job properly in a single day he or she has to do 10 catalog cards along with the add-on cards but you are seeing that one he is rather he or she is producing five or six now you can call him or her and talk to them first to first contact where is the problem what is the condition of you are you physically fine or not whether there is a travel in your home. So this is what, by this way, you can go for that on face, face to face. Direct or indirect interview, this interview is like that one, suppose, as for example, right now, you see, because of this corona crisis or corona pandemic, you cannot go to any individual directly or rather many of the times what is happening right now, people are not allowing to enter into their house many people there are many houses are rather they are not allowing others to enter into their home so this is one problem in that case you have to take the help of indirect interview and at the same time right now direct interview is having another problem because everyone is rather putting masks over their faces and right now in the second wave people are using double masks 
and whenever you are using two masks now whatever you are saying it is getting distorted and no one can hear you in that such in clearer way either you have to shout or rather you have to say the same thing twice and at the same time there is a problem that you won't understand the problem what the interviewer is asking you and he is also not being able to understand you what you are rather saying and that is what is the problem right now in that case direct interview uh, indirect interview is very good so in indirect interview you are in your home so you are calling him and you are asking the question they sir i want to know that or rather please tell me why you are doing like that way why you are not working properly i am seeing that one you are not coming to the library in time see 10:30 is the time but you are always coming by 11:30 like that so you can go for that one now you have the structured interview and unstructured so a structured interview means that is what you will ask so that is predetermined question that is a structured one and structured is a discrete one that is you want to start from rather very simple question and then you are rather going to with the critical questions a structured one an unstructured question is something different that is where no script is there no predetermined question is there nothing is there but you being the interviewer you are having only the objective or the goal that is i have to dig out information from this fellow i need information what he is having in his mind or rather in his gray matter i have to extract that one by any means by any means doesn't mean by forcing by saying foul languages by saying mm, abrasive one abrasive language or rather um, different types of pressure techniques or like that no pressuring technique or such type of thing unstructured is something like that one say you like football no so i have seen your photographs there so this is what you are trying to get closer to him by this way and many a times the structured questions people would rather say you the interview uh, will say you that one i won't answer this question so as for example right now any issue which is under sub judies which is under the court if you ask that one to any individual he will simply say that one no this subject is rather under sub judies so i can't answer you so this is what the structure but in unstructured you can say that one uh, do you really think that a court can do such type of thing or rather the center should do such type of thing what they are doing it right now so this is what the unstructured thing so you can ask such type of questions predetermined questions you are having that one and you will see that one in the television like that one most of the anchors in the televisions they are so boring you know they are so boring and they are so ill standard so they already make a charter or a chart of predefined question and ask that one one after another without knowing the very nature very structure very ambience or rather the very person whom they are interviewing and most of the times they ask so such a kind of silly questions so these questions never gives any good answer to anyone so that is what is the problem with the interview and see so predetermined questions might be structured good you can do this one but at the same time predetermined questions may not be very fruitful if the person you are interviewing is more intelligent than that of the interviewer himself in that case any predetermined tricky question will be so as you know that one there is one i'm just giving you the example i have no personal grudge against him but this is what you know one interviewer or rather one tv anchor is there named as arnab gosham and you know the way he fires questions the predetermined questions and he never lets anyone to say the answer so this is what okay and then the standardized techniques of recording standardized techniques of recording that is how will you record will you record that one in your mobile phone but in that case whenever you are going to record you have to take the 
cognizance take the affirmation from the interviewee that you are going to record that one and if possible in interview you must say him that is whenever you are recording that one you must say him please tell that one loudly that is you are giving this interview with your full consent and so that i i can record you record your interview so you will say that one and in your record that thing will also be there so that is the most important thing while you will be furnishing such information and if it is for the challenge then you can say them yes see this is my record and here the interviewee himself um, affirmed his um, permission that is i can record this one so this is what the first one okay so this is the last thing i will tell you today and advantages more and in depth information interviewer can overcome the resistance by his skill interviewer can overcome the resistance by his skills i told you that one many times you have to make yourself a bit of low or rather in a high pitch that is the skill that is in what way you will ask the question will you go for direct question or rather you will go for some kind of a different route this is the important thing greater flexibility you know greater flexibility you can have coffee with you you can have tea with you you can sit in a tea stall in a village then you can talk with them if first cup of tea is not enough you can go ask for a second cup of tea greater flexibility you can sit on the field observation method also can be applied so you are interviewing at the same time you are rather seeing that one suppose you are working uh, on the information behavior of the farmer and the farmer has no such time to give you that is he can sit idle and talk with you while he is plowing his land at the same time you are also going with him and asking him the question so at the same time he is giving you the uh, answer and you are seeing that one how he is plowing that one and you can ask him the question like this way that is um, see uh this you are saying that one this time the rain is not coming and this rain will not come within two or three days how do you understand how how you can understand this one you do not have any such kind of so do you know that is why the rain you are saying that and why the rain will not come in coming two or three days now see he will be giving you the answer from his experience and that is what is the important thing and personal information can be obtained greater response then catch spontaneous reaction language can be adapted and can also collect supplementary information supplementary means what the information you are going to collect with that one you can get some more content more information from interview which is not possible in other cases so i think uh, it's already 1644 so i think you are already overburdened are you overburdened yes or no salim yes sir network power chhe yes sir bahut achhe so okay then so so we have such hurry so we can take this one in the next day also so i am rather stopping here and next day means uh, tomorrow or day after tomorrow day after tomorrow i want to continue that one again thank you very much have a nice day